We aren't Meyer the Hatters to talk about uh, your Easter bonnet, except more for men's Easter bonnets than, than ladies. And this is what Look, Stetson stiff hat, right here. Look, I think it's three dollars. I think or two dollars. I don't know if that's okay. I can read that. Yes. Okay, so this is across the way. This is Kaufman's hats, yeah, over there. and that's right across, right next to the Havana cigar importer, and then and then Meyer My the Hatters. My grandfather was over this, here somewhere. Over this this, this is a, a picture though. It was about eighteen. Uh, 1890 or 80, and he may not, but he was there in 1894 is when he went into business. Mm -hmm. Now he worked in a, in a clothing store here as a boy, and he, his job was to brush the hats and deliver them on foot. They wouldn't give him a car fare, he had to walk to Esplanade and he had to walk to Jackson Avenue, delivering the hats on foot. So, and then he said, you know what, I want to work in the store. <laughs> So I'm wait a minute. He, now wait a minute. There was a. Let me tell you the real history. There was a clothing store called H. D. McGowan, and he worked with them. And someone said, "Well, you know, you, you like the hat so much. You brush them and clean them and everything. Maybe you ought to go into the hat business." He said, "I think I might try." So with five hundred dollars from my grandmother, he opened Myers Hat Box. I'll give you the whole spiel. Myers Hat Box in 1894. Okay. That's the hat salesman of the day said I'm going to told the factory I'm putting my signature on this gentleman's first order because I know him and his character and I'm going to stand behind it. So, Stetson hats have been here ever since. And as long as I'm so you got people movie. coming here from all over to buy hats? The main reason is we have the merchandise. We have the merchandise. We got three floors of merchandise here. Come on. Up at LSU, in the LSU Theater, the one that the Huey Long built in the in yeah. the music and dramatic arts, all the seats would fold down, and they had this wire rack under put there. Your hat. It was to put your hat, and I was the only one that knew that. I told there people. You go. They you said, see? "Oh, was this for programs? No, it was for men put to put hat. the hat on, and you roll." Roll top stiff hat. It would stick yeah. under that. Sit right up under there. Oh yeah. <laughs> How long have men been? I mean, let me change that. Yeah. Let's... Men always wore hats. 20s, 30s, 40s, old time cowboy, and it went away, the style went away. Are you finding more and more people wearing more and more different hats? Everybody's got one hat. I mean, I personally have, I'm an actor though, I wear them in different occasions. Right. But I have Collect myself personally about a half, about nine hats, not counting baseball caps. Yes. And my son's got three. You know, and I mean, we wear, we wear hats. Well, sure, you're hat people. Yeah. But you finding more and more hat people? I'm getting people from every state in this in this uh, place coming and buying has headwear from us. Every. There you go. Now so look, they know what the good stuff is. Come here, look. Look at all the famous people and the infamous maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I've bought hats with us. Uh, every one of these. Here, he was just here about two weeks ago. Reggie? I'd never seen him in Reggie my life. Jackson? He was here. He, he bought two Borsalino hats from me. Uh, here's a... What's your name? Kevin Spacey? He, my grandson is running around here, waited on him. Yeah. Here's Dr. Fishburne. Jones. Look, yeah, look at Fishburne. He got my favorite hat on. I interviewed him. Oh, that's, what kind of hat is that? Let's see. It's called a telescope. I'll yeah. show it to you. That's my favorite. So it's Kermit Russell. Oh, these are my parade people that buy hats for their parade uh, function, and they buy hats every year for the last 100 years. Every year, new hat. I thought the song said every year a new suit. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever it is. Oh, here's a hat. Here's a hat. Easter hat or a Christmas hat or a hat hat for any occasion, Maya hat is the only place to go because they got everything. They are like the clearance house of hats, but they got the top quality. Maya hat on St. Charles Avenue. Yeah, there it is.